A 19-year-old man from Southampton, according to the BBC, was stopped and arrested at 8.30 on Christmas morning for entering the grounds of Winter Castle with a crossbow. It's reported that the man was stopped within moments of entering the grounds and did not manage to enter any buildings and is now in the care of medical professionals. But this might leave you wondering, how is it that somebody can be in possession of a crossbow, which is an extremely powerful weapon that can discharge arrows in the first place? Well, believe it or not, the possession of crossbows by adults is not not prohibited in the United Kingdom and crossbow owners do not have to register, although the sale and possession of crossbows to or by children is controlled and prohibited. And there are of course lots of different offences related to the misuse of crossbows, one of which of course is just being in a public place with a crossbow because it is an offensive weapon after all. The Crossbows Act of 1987 makes it an offence for anyone under the age of 18 to purchase or possess a crossbow and for anyone to sell a crossbow to anyone under the age of 18. Police have powers to search anyone that they believe to be in possession of a crossbow and the use of crossbows is banned in many other situations such as hunting. The Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981 effectively bans the hunting with crossbows and the Prevention of Crime Act of 1953 prohibits carrying an offensive weapon including crossbows in a public place without lawful authority or a reasonable excuse. Now I suggest that there isn't going to be much of a reasonable excuse to be in a public place with a crossbow unless of course you're going to or from a shop having purchased one as an adult or you're going to and from an archery club of which you are a member and you can demonstrate that that's a reasonable excuse going to or from the club. But being in possession of it anywhere else is likely to land you being accused of being in possession of an offensive weapon in a public place. Now there's been a lot of call and demand for tighter restrictions and regulation of the possession of crossbows after the death of Shane Gilmer in April of this year 2021 after a five-day inquest. The coroner, Professor Paul Marks, had submitted a report to the Home Secretary and the Minister of Crime for Policing on 5th of May 2021. The concern was raised that there was no ongoing control, record or licensing required for crossbows, unlike other firearms and shotguns. There was even an online petition to the government, which reached more than 10,000 signatures, which requires a response from the government. The government's response essentially was that legislation was currently sufficient. And whilst it is shocking and tragic that crossbows are misused, the government said that these incidents fortunately are very rare. And that if a crossbow is misused to harm another person, that this is obviously a serious offence and will be dealt with under existing criminal legislation. So given that we have very tight knife laws in this country in that you cannot be in possession of a pointed or bladed article in a public place unless it comes within the exemption of a folding pocket knife, which is a knife that does not exceed three inches, does not lock and it is immediately foldable at all times unless you have a very good reason to be in possession of a public place with a knife. How then does this legislation compare with that of the possession of crossbows? Now of course you cannot be in possession of a crossbow in a public place without a good reason again and those good reasons are going to be very few and far between but the possession of crossbows in the first place as it stands is not prohibited as long as you are at least 18 years old. So I'd be interested in your thoughts and comments in the comments section below and as always please give this video a like, subscribe and share it with someone that you might find it interesting and as always thank you for watching.